Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions and demonstration of a beauty kit. I seem to have a bit of a fetish at the moment for things that come in boxes. But anyway, I'm doing a first impressions and demonstration of a beauty kit which I purchased from QVC UK which is a shopping channel. And the kit is by Bare Minerals and it's called the Get Glowing Kit. Okay, that's what it looks like. The kit is called Beauty in Bloom and it contains six items. And the description of the kit is as follows. This collection of fresh picked shades will give you a radiant, beautiful and fabulously flawless look just in time for spring. Mix, match and layer for a charming twist on the classic neutral look with the natural healthy looking finish of, the, of our Invisible Glow Highlighter plus our newest innovations and tried and true favourites. So the collection includes the original foundation SPF 15. So that's this. This is actually twice the size of the normal foundation, which normally comes in an 8 gram container. This is 16 grams, and I got it in colour Golden Dark, which is the only dark shade they had in this collection on QVC. So it says here, our original foundation SPF 15, our award winning Bare Minerals original foundation SPF 15, gives you all the flawless coverage you want with a no makeup look and feel. It looks like powder, feels like a cream, and buffs on naturally. This versatile, weightless foundation provides, a, provides adjustable, sheer to full coverage for a flawless look, yet doesn't feel like you are weight wearing any makeup at all. Then it includes the Invisible Glow Powder Highlighter, which is this. Looks like that. Okay, so the Invisible Glow Powder Highlighter in Gilded Glow, a silky ultra fine baked highlighter created to replicate the soft luminescence of gold, golden hour light. Specialised reflecting pearls add dimensions and softly illuminates the skin, creating a warm lit from within glow. Then it's the Big Seal Blush, which is this. That's the colour. Discover radiant, healthy looking cheek colour with our silky lightweight blush in a, in a hushed pink hue. Then you've got the 5-in-1 BB uh, Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow SPF 15 in Luxe Almond. Chock full of skin loving ingredients, this eye loving cream visibly corrects the appearance of redness and discoloration while delivering five benefits in one. Luxurious product priming, brightening, the smoothing of fine lines, sun protection and 12 hour wear. Then you have the Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick. This is my favourite thing in the collection. Looks like this. What does it say? It says a uh, medium coverage, moisturising, pinky brown colour, demi shine finish and addictively creamy texture. I must say it does feel really nice on the lips. Flawless application face brush. This synthetic soft tapered fibres of this professional brush are designed to provide sheer to medium coverage. It's been a tried and true staple for 10 years and is still a genius at simple application so and then it, it describes how to get the look so it says using the flawless application face brush swell a small amount of the original foundation onto the lid and apply using the swell tap buff application start on the outside of your face near your cheekbones then buff around your face working your way to the cheeks forehead and nose then sweep big seal blush onto the cheeks using the flawless application face brush if for a light hushed pink pop of colour, then apply visible glow powder highlighter in gilded glow to, to the areas that the sun naturally hits, cheekbones, forehead, nose, chin and even decolleté to soften illuminate with a warm lit from within glow. Then using the paddle application of your finger, 
apply the 501 BB Advanced Performance Cream Wash Shadow SPF in Luxe Almond onto the eyelid and blend. And then complete the look with Gen Nude Radio Lipstick in Heaven for a rich pinky brown finish. Okay, so I have applied, I, this is the look, this is the finished look. So I've applied all of those products onto my face. And if you want to see how I achieve this look, please continue to watch. Again, thank you for watching my video. Take care. Bye. Right, so this is where my demonstration side comes into it. So as I said, I normally wear colour medium deep. In the um, in the original foundation, so this color is golden dark. So I'm gonna try and make that work. So I'm just gonna do just set my face up really, just do the primers. What I normally do when I wear the um, bare minerals powder, I normally mix up the complexion rescue, and I've got this in color sienna ten with the prime time primer oil control. I usually mix the two together and apply that to my face. So I'm going to do that now. So I squirt a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Squirt that on. And this is the Complexion Rescue. Sorry about the state of it, but I have used it, obviously. And put a little bit of this on. Even though I have got very oily skin, you still have to moisturize your skin. So I put those on together like that. Mix the two and then apply. Okay, so that's that done. As you can see, it's not really a very mattifying primer, so I'm just going to put a little bit of my Becca Ever Matte Poreless primer on, just a little bit. Okay, so that's that done. Right, so I'm just going to put some of this tissue paper which came in a kit over my lap. If you saw my last Bare Minerals video, I'll put the details in a card just above. Um, I think you might have guessed that. I don't have much luck with Bare Minerals powdery products. I make a lot of mess with it, so I'm just trying to protect my clothing a little bit here today. So this is the uh, original Golden Dark foundation right so it comes with a little sifter like that so I'm just going to shake the container a bit just to get some of the product on the top right. don't actually think you need a lot so that's how much I've put in the the lid and there is a technique with bare minerals original foundation you're supposed to swirl to get all the product in the foundation brush, tap and then apply. Cross fingers, let's hope this colour can work for me. Okay, it looks like it might be a little bit dark, but we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so that's one side of my face done with the powder. I'd say that's one layer. It doesn't give full coverage, I'd say it give medium coverage. Would you agree with that? Okay, let's do the rest of my face. The colour is a bit dark, but said we'll, we'll work with it. Okay, so that's my face foundation applied. 
as I said I think it's more medium coverage I can still see quite a, a bit of my open pores there but not much I can do about that at this stage the color is dark if you look at my face and then look at my neck and my chest color it's not a good match but we'll make it work okay so that's the face done I haven't put any concealer on so what I'm going to do I'm not going to use a concealer I'm going to use the bare mineral stroke of light this is in the color three I believe I think there's four or five shades in this and I think this is the third color along I'm going to now use this 5-in-1 uh, uh, BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow in SPF 15. Yeah, the colour is really light, but I'll just put a little bit on. not sure what impact that's had so I'm just going to put a little bit of um, eyeshadow on and I'm going to use my Tartus Pro kit for that okay so I've just done my eye makeup I'm just going to put a little bit more of the face powder on my face okay so that's the eyes that's the face powder I'm now going to try some of the blush color. No, that's my other blush. So the blush was in color Big Seal. Not sure how you're supposed to do this, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to. I'm not sure how much I need. So that's what it looks like. So I'm using the same method, swirl, tap, and then put it in, see if the colour works. It's a very, very gentle colour on my skin tone. Ooh, that came out stronger. I think what I'm worried about is that I've got my ring lights on, so I've got sort of artificial lights on. I'm a bit worried about how this is going to look in natural daylight. Okay, so the other product in the kit was this Invisible Glow Powder Highlighter, and I've got it in the colour Gilded Glow. So it's this one. Oops. There you go. So let's put a little bit of this on. To admit, I'm, I'm a little bit worried because what I'm looking at here in the mirror doesn't look great. Um, I think I'm looking a little bit like 
Aunt Sally. I'm gonna when I finish this, I'm gonna turn the ring light off and then see what it looks like in natural daylight. But this in artificial light doesn't look great. I'm looking a little bit of a oh, bit of a mess. Okay, so that's the highlighter on. Put a little bit down my nose. Right, okay, and then the lipstick is this colour, it's a Gen Nude colour in Colour Heaven. I'm going to put some of my, because um, the colour does look light, even in this false lighting, it looks very light. So I'm going to put on my MAC lip liner in Chestnut first. colour on. Very moisturising and creamy, definitely on the first impression. Well, in this lighting the lipstick looks okay, it looks good. Okay, um, that's the finished look. What do you think? I'm now going to turn the ring light off just to see how it looks in more natural daylight because I just got a feeling that this is giving me a very false impression but let's see so I'm just going to turn the ring light off right natural daylight you can't really see the blush but it looks okay I have got another blush here, um, which is something I bought at a different time. It's a colour Golden Gate. I'm just wondering if I should put a little bit of that on or should I just leave it as it is? What do you think? No, today I am testing out this kit, so that's, that's what I'm going to do. Good evening and welcome back. So I'm here to give you my final thoughts and review of the kit I was trialling out today and just give you my first impressions thought of it. So the kit was the Bare Minerals Get Glowing and it was available as a special exclusive to QVC UK. It was a six piece collection um, which included a foundation, the original foundation powder, a blush, a highlighter which was a new product, um, a, a lipstick which was also a new product and the application face brush. So I think you can probably see by the colour and the condition of my skin that it hasn't quite worked out for me. So the only colour that was available in the foundation for darker skin was Golden Dark. and This one here, it was a super sized product. The colour I could tell was too dark for me and I knew it may not work. Um, but it, it's more than it hasn't worked. It has oxidised and as you can see, it, I'm just a shiny mess. I normally wear the Bare Minerals uh, Matte Powder Foundation. I don't normally wear the original because of just this. So you can see that this hasn't worked for me at all. And obviously the colour has just oxidised and it's a complete mess on my skin. So closer look, you can see it's shiny all over. Enjoy that look. It's melted and it's separated in several places. So yeah, it, it just wasn't for me. So no. Um, what else was there? The primer. This is actually okay. As a product, this is actually okay. But the shade just wasn't working for me at all. It was too light. And again, it's too much. Um, it was too reminiscent of the 1960s when they really weren't doing colour foundations for, for black people. Um, that's what this shade is like on me. And it just didn't work at all. The darkest colour they do have in, th in this eyeshadow is called Divine Wine. Um, that would have been better because I tend to use that as a primer. But this colour, Lux Almond, didn't work for me at all. So no, 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 no. Right. The other thing that didn't work for me is this highlighter. And it's called the Invisible Glow Highlighter. This is the shade they put in. They have got some other shades as well. I think it's about four or five other colours. And 
some of the darker colours, more peachy colours, probably would have worked for me. Even a rose gold colour would have worked. But this particular shade didn't work for me. And it didn't really show up on my skin either. So again, for this, for me, didn't work either. So, so far, three out of the six hasn't worked. Then what else was there? Then there was the blush. Well, the blush was called, what was it called again? It was called Big Sur. Big Sur. And it was like a pinkish hue. That's how it was described. On me, it didn't show. It was just a pale, ashy colour on my cheekbones. It really didn't show at all on my skin. I have got um, Bare Minerals blushes in colours that do work. So I've got two. I've got Tulip and I've got Golden Gate. Golden Gate works really well on my skin colouring, but this colour, no, not at all. So this hasn't worked for me either. As you can see, it's just, no, okay. So we're on four out of the six so far, not working. The the powder, the uh, Flawless Face Finish brush. This is actually a good brush. I have no issues with this brush at all. It works well. If I could have kept something in this kit, I would have kept this because I did have an old Flawless Face Finish brush, but it's so old and it's just completely worn away. So um, I would have liked to have been able to keep this, but this is going to be going back as well. But out of the kit, this is what I liked so far. And the best thing in the kit, which I really liked, was the lipstick, the Gen Nude lipstick. This was in the colour Heaven. I liked the feel of it. It was a creamy texture, very moisturising. Just a really nice colour. Put some more on. Yeah, I, I really liked this uh, lipstick, but unfortunately, because the majority of the kit didn't work for me, it's going to go back. So basically, all of the kit is going back, which is a shame because it's such a good price. Including the postage and packaging, the value of the kit was so good. It was about just under £45 for the whole kit. And if you were to buy all the items individually, I think it came up to just under £90. But again, as I said earlier, I'll put the details down below of how much the, the, the products would cost individually. So overall, it's a shame. Didn't work for me, and that's literally because of the shades available. The products themselves, the quality of the products themselves are excellent, no issues at all. It's just the shade selection that was available in the kit didn't work for me at all. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, I've got to send this one back. And it's not, and it's not me being negative about the Bare Minerals range. I love the products, it's just that the shade just weren't working for me. If you found my video helpful, please don't forget to give me a like down below. I know I'm another YouTuber asking for the likes, but it helps us. So please don't forget to give me a like down below. And if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe below. And if you press the little bell next to the, the subscribe button, it's a notification. And it will tell you when I next upload my, my latest videos. I try to do at least two videos a week, usually on beauty products, beauty kits, collections that I've, I've purchased. So thank you very much for watching. And take care. Until next time. Bye.